Hey everyone, it's Karen. Um, I am at the hospital right now. I had to bring someone in for surgery today. Not the best time in the world to be having surgery, um, but it was. it's a pretty serious thing, and so I brought her in today. Um, I'm at a hospital, beautiful hospital here in Palm Springs. And this hospital had a coronavirus um, up here, you know, whatever they call that. Uh, uh, someone had it, you know what I mean? They found it here. And even though that person's in quarantine, of course the hospital is very, very cautious. So we came today, yesterday they called us and said only one person could bring her to the hospital. And myself and her best friend were gonna take her and uh, only one person. So I brought her and then when we got here this morning, they had just changed the policy, no visitors. So there's all these people here at the hospital that are trying to get upstairs to see their loved ones and friends and family, and they're not being allowed. And I was outside, I, I'm allowed because I'm. she's having surgery. I just actually walked outside to take a break. Um, I'm, you know, I'm being smart. I put some gloves on. Um, masks only prevent someone from giving it to you. And even though I think everybody should probably have a mask on because we can't tell who's got it and who doesn't, um, you know, it seems like touching things seems to be the worst thing. So I, I've worn some, I'm wearing some gloves. You can see those blue gloves there. I've got some gloves, a bunch of gloves in my purse. So, you know, I'm being smart, but you know, I came outside to take a break for a minute and there's this guy and he came up to me and he was so mad. And I said to him, you know, they're trying to protect our loved ones. They're trying to protect people. And I don't know. Are they overdoing it? I don't know. I think it's better safe than sorry. I mean, I've been kind of saying they've been overdoing it for a while, right? And that mass hysteria has set out and that's never good. So I, I don't believe in the mass hysteria. I do, however, believe that they've shut everything down except for the hospitals. And we have to keep these people safe. So don't give people such a hard time. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe you don't agree with how this should be going. Thank God, why don't you just be grateful that they're not asking you to make decisions on a worldwide ep epidemic. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm happy someone else has to make these important decisions. Um, I think we should go along. I think we should do our best to go along. If they say, you know, and by the way, don't be hoarding shit. I mean, my God, people, I mean, buy some toilet paper. If you need toilet paper, if you want to have an extra roll, that's fine. Or an extra, you know, four rolls or whatever that, what do you usually buy? But I don't think buying all of it, I mean, there are people that are going to be at risk and it's the people in their eighties and nineties. It's the people that have cancer, that have other illnesses are going to be more susceptible. They can't go to the grocery store. They can't be driving around for four hours looking for toilet paper. You know what I mean? If you've already hoarded and acted the fool, share. Find someone that needs, maybe you have an elderly neighbor, make sure they have what they need. Think of other people. This is a t not the time to go helter skelter into the night, terrified. It's the time to wash your hands. <laughs> It's a cold. It's it's like a pneumonia, right? And a lot of people have it and they're no, they don't even know they have it, right? It's the older people that get it. It's going to put them in danger, risk, the sick, already sick. So if you have underlying issues, I understand your concern. Today I'm basically doing it because I can't I don't want to get sick because of the the woman that I help. Uh, I have a lot of elderly friends too and I'm trying to be mindful of other people. Um, but go along. Don't give people such a hard time. This is already such a difficult time for people. Everyone's terrified. And to have people at a hospital screaming and yelling at the very people that are trying to help us is insane to me. Um, let's make it easier on the people trying to help us. Let's not, if your grocery store puts out some toilet paper today and you're there, uh, take one. You know, I mean, this isn't going to go on forever. Uh, everything's closed right now and everything's being for our own safety. Maybe we'll look back and say we overreacted, right? Um, and maybe we did exactly what we were supposed to. Or maybe we didn't do enough. I don't know. It doesn't hurt to say I don't know. 
and just because you're acting out of a space of consciousness doesn't mean you're terrified and scared okay it just means you're being mindful stay in the moment don't jet out to what if we can't get toilet paper next week right now do you have toilet paper if not do you have any Kleenex um, I know that there's parts of the country and the world right now where women need diapers for their babies and all of it's gone that has nothing to do with the virus that has to do with fear people think that they're going to be locked down and we're all going to be in quarantine and if that happens we will be okay everything is okay stay in the moment okay and look after people this is the time to be helping not the time to be freaking the fuck out all right so i'm going to go back into the hospital i hope everyone can kind of pull their shit together here because uh, there are people here that are seriously ill and need to have surgery and they don't want to be hearing about no freaking virus while they're you know they don't have a choice they have to have the surgery it's not ideal of course it's not ideal is there ever an ideal time to have surgery is there ever an ideal time to have a virus no so everyone just try to relax for a minute stay in the moment let's pray let's pray for each other and try to be helpful have a great day bye